Hello everybody. Today in this uh, tutorial video, I'm gonna demonstrate to you that uh, uh, the vintage Roland Super JX, the MK70, or the Sup, uh, JX-10, and also as well the uh, Roland uh, JX-8P is quite uh, capable of producing uh, pulse with modulated waveforms uh, which these type of units they don't necessarily have it as a selection on the on the waveform selector so this is my setup basically I got a, a oscilloscope uh, hooked up to the uh, to the outputs of my Roland right here and I'm gonna monitor the other output through my uh, Roland monitor okay and this is the uh, Roland PG800 controller which is used for uh, programming your patches uh, in real time is very handy unit to have so to start this tutorial I I basically uh, set uh, the patch to have a, a square wave on uh, DCO2 so this is what it's gonna look like okay that's this is the basic square wave patch coming off the Roland now in order to generate pulse with modulation on that wave there is a number of things that needs to be done in order to achieve this I am also gonna write the full description of, of all these steps necessary first we have to make sure that uh, both DCO1 and DCO2 are completely in tune as you can see the tune knob for DCO1 is zeroed out for knob, tuning knob for DCO2 is zeroed out and fine tune is zeroed out next thing we have to make sure that the selector for DCO2 is on a square wave which is right here Next thing, we gotta make sure that the DCO wave shape is set at the same position as the other one. Both DCO uh, can have a, any octave, but they have to be they have to match. So let's start with 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 the lowest settings. Now the the crucial part of this uh, procedure is to set the cross modulation to one. Okay. Next thing, I would uh, disable the envelope two generator to gate mode. Make sure that that the levels is sufficient. Uh, Resonance is down and cut off is way up. There's nothing selected that's going to interfere. Next thing is uh, on the LFO, the waveform has to be in the sine wave position. There's not going to be any delay time LFO but we are gonna use uh, 
the rate of the LFO to control the sweep. Setting the the DCO two envelope. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, LFO to the highest position and envelope one, two, three. The other important thing is that the dynamics are gonna be off. The next important thing is to set the envelope one to the highest position and the mode sorry I'm jumping here way too much uh, but uh, essentially the the DCO2 envelope mode whether is is normal or the or the reverse has to be switched to the reversed so here we have normal reversed normal reversed so it can be this reversed or that reversed Yeah, make sure you turn off the chorus off as that's gonna interfere with the the final wave shape output. Okay, uh, I would turn the DCO mixer uh, knob down all the way down as well and DCO two way up. Okay, let's try see what, what we have so far. Okay. Uh, we still have some fine tuning to do. play with the parameters some more the, wave, the waveform almost disappears as it's sweeping and as, now I'm just gonna control the rate of the speed of the LFO sweeping so as you can see it does quite a nice job. Play some chord. Okay. Let's apply some uh, volume envelope to the sound with a bit higher release. Let's see how that sounds. A little bit more sustaining sound. Okay. Thanks everybody for watching. Uh, I hope this tutorial will be useful to you. And until the next time.